Hey everyone, it's Arthur Maria Estrada and Antonio. This Pre. is Antonio Pre. This is my channel, Radical Books and Politics. And Antonio, who's my son, also has his own channel called Antonio, Antonio the, the Human. Human. Yeah, and Antonio the Human does interesting things. And you're going to have to forgive the chatter outside. We have neighbors. We live in a wonderful duplex, but our neighbors can get loud. So today is a special show because we're very close to 50 subscribers. For some of you, that may seem like not very many, but uh, at 50 subscribers, I'm going to give away a free story for you, and it is based on my characters from La Bruja in the Orchard, and it's going to be a magical realism piece, so that'll be coming out soon, as soon as we hit 50 subscribers. Now, a lot of YouTubers just want subscribers for metrics. I want people to subscribe who are actually going to read my books, so I think that's, you know, a real, a real group of people that are going to support independent authors. Uh, the other thing is I delayed the publication of the second edition of Wolf Trek, but it should be coming out pretty soon. I'm not going to give it a date because every time I do, something happens. <laughs> but anyway, so I want to talk to you a little bit about my friend Jay Mehta. Um, he's a poet from India, and he suffered a stroke around August, and he had another stroke. And unfortunately, two weeks ago, he had a third stroke. And a number of independent writers have been helping Jay by sending money, um, by sending uh, money via a Facebook uh, med medical expense account that's already uh, ended. But I am going to post a link to the PayPal below because his wife is really struggling right now. She has to work two jobs. He has a four-year-old uh, little girl that they're taking care of. And so most of you know what it's like to have medical expenses and they accumulate. And so this will be really important if you want to support. But uh, one of the places where Jay publishes a lot of his poetry is on spill words and Antonio my son was going to read a poem tell us the title of the poem and read it with feeling it's called winter of love and it was written by Jay strolling thoughts worn sands of time a tune a fading cadence of stars the moonlight a cascade a shimmering silvery sublime Lies. I'm going to read Quietude. Uh, and here it is. A unique piece, but from another, a part of an eternal elegant existence, a dewdrop, an emotion caressing the air, tracing brilliance, a collection of thoughts, scattered rain, droplets, shimmering silver, softness abounds, gently aglow a promise in motion of days of glory from a dawn exquisite to evenings benign, a grand path, flower bedecked, pearl inlaid, freedom of soul to soar, gossamer wings, a rush, a calm, mind symphony, soul harmony, word, words, wings, bated breath, a leap of faith, silver doves conquer the Emprian high. A writ destiny, jade crafted, a deep silence, amid the still of night, thoughts ablaze, exploring profundity of dreams yet to occur. Well, that's beautiful. I, yeah, I remember it's... reading that piece. It's a gorgeous piece. You know, the tragic thing is, is that he was sitting on a collection of poetry, and he had it all in the right order, and he didn't publish it. So I'm like, as soon as you get better, Jay, we're putting that collection out, because he's so prolific and... Just amazing. He does tend to have a lot of um, alliteration in his poetry, which is beautiful and metaphor. Yeah, I think about when I think about craft, I think a lot about his stuff. It's very polished. Yeah. Very, um, yeah, it's very polished. It's true. I mean, he would just spin lines out. We would chat on Facebook at like three in the morning. Uh, three. It was probably three o'clock this time, and I was like, "You wrote that in such a short amount of time, and the line breaks were so phenomenal, you know? That mm -hmm. that to me is a, the mark of a true master." So uh, we're also going to have a piece on by Sean Klimek uh, weaved into the episode or the vlog. A poem by Jay Mehta, Crossroads. The earth speaks in whispers. Tell me about your journeys. Where did your mind wander? Where did your feet step? Where did your soul flow? Tell me all life. As you sculpted, I want to know. A potter's wheel you were shaped upon. Did the kiln that baked your passions add to your core? 
little pools of joy rippling about how much water for a thirsty road to slake do you still hold? Tell me about your journeys. Tell me through the swirling mists of a myopic mind's eye. Allow me colors reimagined to see. A waltz plays from somewhere beyond. Afterthoughts linger as footsteps glide through an emotive line's curve. Indelible prints of your designs upon my mind. The burst of its fragrance, the quilt of its colors, blossoms tinkling with laughter under a happy blue sky to drape you. Your kind thoughts prevail like the afterglow of a blazing dusk of compassion. Your grace shines through from the margin where starlight begins and purity reigns. Crimson strands of a sky cushion your beauty in thoughts and words. My thoughts came to you. Passion in autumn shades, cloaking time with your embrace. Till turns a fork. Path split since a game of life's dice. I won my hand back. Never the same. Warmth bereft. Yearns a familiar tingle. No looking back. The seasons ever change, twilight, sunset, strangers parting in the fading light, embracing the night, each to love the dawn. The earth speaks in whispers. Tell me about your journeys. On this threshold of a hat tip moment, allow a glance to rebound upon, an answer to a prayer of souls in need of succor, to capture intense moments of heartfelt delight again. Thank you so much for watching the show. I have a number of book reviews coming up. And hopefully Antonio and I will also start doing co-hosting on his channel, Antonio the Human, because he's training me how to play Fortnite. That'll be awesome. I always close out. We do what you love. Read as many books as you can. And write on. Right on.